If you are a cat lover or just a Photoshop enthusiastic, you are going to love how this composition is built. Let's do this. I'll speed up this part with the background because I want to focus more on our subjects. Anyway, there isn't that much to tell here, just a sky image, some buildings and I decrease the brightness. So I have added this uh, scaffolding and uh, I have added an inner shadow that uh, acts like uh, the way I would add some highlights. So um, for you to see what I did here, uh, I added this inner shadow and the blending mode was set to linear dodge and the opacity to 50%. And to blend this image better with my background, I have used curves. I have a full tutorial on how to match the background colors with the subjects using curves. So I suggest you to watch that tutorial because I explain there step by step how to do it. And I did the same thing here on the top. I have added uh, this, uh, actually this one is a railway bridge. And here I did the same things as you can see, I have added this inner shadow and then I decreased a bit the brightness using uh, a soft light where I have painted with black and with curves like I just said. I match the colors and then I have added this uh, outdoor from a AC unit and I did the same things uh, I have decreased the brightness using this layer set to soft light and I have painted with black and then with curves I have modified the colors and that inner shadow that acts as I said like uh, adding highlights then on the bottom area to have some perspective I needed some ground so I have added this floor from uh, Neostock and to this floor I have added some blur in the bottom area to have some depth of field and then with curves I have decreased the brightness and on top of it here in the middle of our image I needed a wall and I have uh, added uh, those stones, the, this uh, wall and to this wall I have added uh, the same inner shadow and here I didn't use curves I used the levels to decrease the brightness and then to mask the difference between the wall and the floor I have added uh, I have painted with a dark color and I have set the blending mode to multiply and then with the hue and saturation this hue and saturation was set to colorize I choose the blue color and I have made the bottom area blue here on the top area of uh, this uh, wall I have added uh, this uh, road fence and uh, I repeated the same steps I have decreased a bit the brightness and with curves I have modified the colors then I have used this picture from Envato and I cut some parts from the cables and I have used them uh, on my wall. As I said I used uh, parts from that image and I have pasted them here with the cables and also uh, to the other side. And after I have done that I have drew some uh, rectangles. So those rectangles will play as our neons. And then with curves I adjust them to their colors to match better together and then to have this neon on uh, green i have used a solid color set to color dodge and um, on top of it another one set to overlay and this way i have uh, obtained this result with the neons and then for our main character i have used this uh, picture and i really didn't want to keep this nike sign so i uh, switch it to mr 23 and then i have uh, selected the subject uh, and added a mask then i have placed him here in my image first i wanted to have some shadows underneath his feet and i have manually drew some shadows uh, using multiply and uh, another big one and after adding the shadows we will see that uh, his colors do not match with the rest of the background and we need to fix that first thing that i did was to add this uh, layer set to soft light so it's a layer set to soft light and I have painted with black to darken some parts and then with levels I have made him even darker and then with brightness and contrast I have increased the brightness on left side and then I have added the highlights. If you watch my previous tutorials you know that I use uh, linear dodge for highlights but for those who didn't really know that this method you go here on layer new layer and you set the blending mode to linear dodge fill it with black hit ok and now if you take the brush tool and uh, the soft brush you set a color in our case if we look around we will see that here we have some green colors so that means this green color will reflect on our subject so I started to paint with that color on the sides of my uh, subject and this uh, after you paint with that uh, reflective color you have to double click on the layer and add a blend if. 
this will disperse that color much better so hold alt and drag this slider to the right and now you can come back and paint more if you feel like it and then you repeat the process you create another layer the same same thing but this time you do not uh, use the blend if you leave the layer like that so i am going to paint with the same color again on the sides and now this looks much much better so i did that using the blend if and then on top i have painted more and uh, at the end even more with the white color and then on top on of his head i have added uh, this neon sign and uh, i have uh, manually drew some cables to integrate uh, this uh, neon into my design and to these uh, cables that I have uh, manually drew, I have added bevel and emboss and color overlay. And to this neon, I wanted to change the white color into a blue color. And I have used uh, a hue and saturation to colorize only that area. And then with the brightness and contrast, I have decreased the brightness. And with a layer filled with black and set to color dodge, I have painted uh, on those neons with the blue color. And behind this guy, I wanted to have some glow. So I have... Uh, paint it with a bright color somehow a white color and i have set the blending mode to screen and a really cool thing that uh, i love to do lately is to emphasize the glows in my designs using color dodge so we keep the same method we go to layer new layer and here the mode this time should be color dodge but fill it with black and now if we want let's uh, let's say here on this arm if we want to emphasize the glow we use a, a color uh, similar to this one that he already has on his hand and if we paint with uh, that color you'll see that the glow will be more intense and here with the green color if we paint we will as i said emphasize that color and here on this arm if we use a blue color we will uh, make that glow pop up even more and now is the moment to add the cats. So first thing I have added this uh, cat uh, cage. I have added a shadow. As I said, I usually drew manually the shadows and I set the blending mode to multiply. And then I have darkened up uh, the bottom part. And with a layer set to linear dodge, I have painted the uh, left side with green. With the uh, curves adjustment layer, I have uh, modified the colors. Then I have used this picture of this cat and I have placed the cat uh, here and now I want uh, the cat to have uh, to raise that paw more. So I have used the puppet warp and uh, I have uh, moved it uh, around and then I have uh, manually added a mask and uh, mask the parts that should be outside the cat. Now our cat looks like uh, she's inside and then let's uh, color match her with the rest. First thing. I have decreased a bit of brightness using the soft light and then with curves adjustment layer I have modified the colors and now for the highlights as I told you a few minutes ago and then I emphasize those glows with color dodge. And then here I wanted another cat here on the left side so I have added this uh, water tank that I have from Envato and I have used only that side of it and I have added a motion blur to blur it more because it's in the foreground. And then with the inner shadow I have added uh, those highlights that uh, I told you about in the beginning and with curves adjustment layer I have modified the colors and I made this one really dark because it's in the front and then with the highlights the same first one with the blend if and the other one on the sides then I use this picture of this cat and added a mask and then I place the cat here on uh, this metal thing and then using levels I have made the cat darker and with curves adjustment layer I have modified the colors and then some highlights using uh, the linear dodge and I wanted more cats because I love cats a lot and I wanted this cat added the mask and use the cat here and then I added some Gaussian blur I have modified the colors using this time selective color and I have modified the neutrals and with levels I made her darker and then the usual things highlights I don't know if you know this design that I have posted a few weeks ago on my Instagram account and I have asked the people where is the cat in this design so everybody was looking for the cat everywhere on the balcony on the buildings and uh, some people found the cat some <laughs> most of the people didn't find the cat and 
now is the moment to show you where I have placed the cat. So the cat it's here. I don't know if you see the cat, but I had to make the cat really dark. So um, the thing is that uh, I said in that post that uh, I use the same cat in three designs, three different designs. So this is the first one. And today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the same cat, but in a different position. So we have this really, really cute cat and I have... Uh, apply the mask and uh, use the cat here on this AC and the same things I have modified the colors using curves and then highlights and then the last the color dodge on top of everything to add more glow and now for the camera row filter let's press ctrl alt shift and i right click on it and convert it to a smart object then go to filter and here choose camera row filter those are my settings that I have used in the basic, some on the detail, on the effects I always add some grain and then hit ok. If you love photo manipulation please watch my other videos also because my channel is full with tutorials and I am sure you will discover a lot of interesting things to learn. 